Welcome to Health Professional Radio. I'm your host, Neil Howard. Glad that you could join us for another segment. You know, every year around the world, one in 10 pregnancies end in a premature birth. Here to uh, talk with us about uh, premature infant nutrition and care is Michelle Johnson of Abbott. Welcome to the program, Michelle. How are you? Thank you. Very good. If you would give our uh, listeners a brief background, I said, of course, you are uh, with Abbott. What is your uh, area of expertise and your role there briefly at Abbott? I am a registered dietitian and a research scientist with Abbott. But prior to joining Abbott, I enjoyed a 17-year career as a neonatal and pediatric nutritionist in six different neonatal intensive care units and pediatric hospitals across the East Coast and the Midwest of the United States. Mm -hmm. A few of those hospitals included the University of Maryland Medical Center, Nationwide Children's Hospital in Columbus, Ohio, and the University of Michigan Health System. Mm -hmm. I recently authored three neonatal nutrition sections in the 2019 update to the Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics Pediatric Nutrition Care Manual, as well as three neonatal nutrition chapters in the Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics Pocket Guide to Neonatal Nutrition. And currently, as a team member with Abbott's Nutrition R&D Group, I'm involved in clinical research and new product development. I also provide medical nutrition expertise that supports educational initiatives regarding infant feedings and their benefits for babies. Well, Explain to our listeners why specialized nutrition is so very important for premature babies, especially. Certainly. Well, as you mentioned, globally, more than one in 10 pregnancies or about 15 million births annually will end in a premature birth. And that's according to the World Health Organization. These babies are at higher risk of mortality and morbidities when compared to babies born at term. The right care and nutrition can help ameliorate potential long-term health challenges. Premature babies have greater nutrition needs than full-term babies in order to continue that growth that would have occurred inside the womb. Plus, their organs are often more immature from their lungs to their heart and digestive system, and that's why nourishing preterm babies is extremely challenging. Premature babies have tiny stomachs, and in one feeding, they might not be able to take in more than just a 5 ml feeding. That's just a teaspoon. So that's why nutrient-dense feedings are really paramount for promoting ketchup growth. Now, are these needs going to have to be met throughout the the child's life as as far as, you know, through toddlerhood? Or is this something that special nutrition and caloric needs are just implemented during the first uh, few months or year of life? So their needs are highest during the first days and months of life, but those higher needs continue throughout the baby's first year of life. At Abbott, a Simlex team has been studying the role of specialized premature infant nutrition for more than 50 years, and we know that nutrition should be tailored for each preterm baby based on their birth weight and other health and physical factors. But like I said, at no other time in an individual's life are nutrient needs greater than for the premature neonate. Preterm infants need approximately 120 calories per kilogram body weight per day. So by comparison, calorie needs for adults range from 25 to 35 calories per kilo per day. If a 170-pound adult were to eat as much as a premature infant requires, this would be the equivalent of eating 3,000 calories three times a day. Preterm infants also have higher protein needs, with the smallest babies having the highest protein requirements for growth. Protein needs range from about 3.5 to 4.5 grams per kilo per day. If our 170-pound reference adult ate this amount of protein, he would need to eat over 50 eggs per day. Nearly all electrolytes, vitamins, and minerals are needed in greater amounts by preterm infants compared to babies born at term. These preterm babies miss out on at least a portion of the last trimester of pregnancy, and that's the time of maximum in utero accretion of calcium and phosphorus. So these minerals are needed for bone matrix formation and mineralization. Calcium needs of the preterm infant are approximately 120 to 200 milligrams per kilo per day, 
with phosphorus needs being about 50 percent of that. So what are some of the uh, advances that Abbott is involved in that are serving some of these needs of these of these children? Well, nourishing preterm babies is an art and a science and one that our Abbott scientists are committed to advancing every day. Neonatologists and neonatal nurse practitioners need feeding options to mix with human milk or preterm infant formula to meet each preterm baby's individual nutrient needs. So as the field of neonatal nutrition is advancing with the use of human milk analyzers and clinical practice, these analyzers enable NICU dietitians to determine exactly what macronutrients are in breast milk and what should be added to that breast milk to meet baby's needs. Our listeners in the NICU know that full-volume feedings of human milk fall short of meeting the high-nutrient needs of preterm babies. In fact, it's estimated that human milk alone offers preterm babies only about 60% of their protein needs and less than 25% of calcium and phosphorus needs, which we just learned are really important for these preterm babies. So to help with this, Abbott offers five different HMF options as a human milk fortifier Mm -hmm. uh, that's added to human milk. And this includes a liquid protein fortifier to supplement babies who have higher protein needs. Abbott's preterm infant formulas come in a variety of caloric densities. And through our liquid mix system, we offer an all-liquid feeding solution uh, includes mixing guidelines that can achieve customized feeding. We take great care with the design of our formulations because preterm babies are so vulnerable. That's why Adelis, that's why Adelis, Similac Human Milk Fortifier Hydrolyzed Protein Concentrated Liquid is one of the only fortifiers that has extensively hydrolyzed or broken down protein. It's easy on premature babies to digest and absorb. Uh, This fortifier also helps with brain and eye development. Mm. All of our fortifiers can be mixed into breast milk without interfering with the nutrients that are already present. And that ensures that the benefits of mom's milk are protected. And one of Abbott's latest scientific advancements for preterm babies is Similac Probiotic Triglend. It's a multi-strain and multi-species combination of probiotic bacteria. Probiotics, is, as we've learned for ourselves as adults, can support the developing gut and microbiome through colonization of beneficial bacteria. And this supports the development of the immune system as well as the gastrointestinal tract. So one sachet of Similac probiotic triblend should be mixed with a small amount of mother's own milk, donor human milk, uh, preterm infant formula, or sterile water, or B5W, and it's given once daily. Now, is this something that you say it can be mixed with milk or purified water, you said? That's right. Mm-hmm. So that could be mother's own milk. Sometimes donor human milk is used in the hospital setting, and then sterile water that's used for oral consumption would be another option. Where can our listeners go online and get some more information about these HMFs, these human milk fortifiers, and the uh, research and development that Abbott is involved in as well? Sure. Our website, abbottnutrition.com, has more information for healthcare professionals. And then for our parents that might be listening, Similac.com has some digestible information for them as well. Michelle, thank you so much for joining us here on Health Professional Radio this morning. Uh, It's been a pleasure speaking with you. Lots of great information. Thank you very much. You've been listening to Health Professional Radio. I'm your host, Neil Howard. Audio copies of this program are available at hpr.fm and healthprofessionalradio.com.au. You can also subscribe to the podcast on iTunes, listen in, download it, SoundCloud, and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com, Health Professional Radio.